Hi, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Lisa, and we're Creative for Learning. Today, we're going to talk about international travel with kids and how to pack so you have more fun. Years ago, when we took our first overseas trip, we had suitcases. Then, by our second trip, we decided we didn't want to do suitcases again. So we borrowed rucksacks, or travel backpacks, from some friends. And we loved them so much, we bought our own, these trusty babies, for our next trip. Sure, there were a couple of downsides, like a sweaty back and shoulders, and uh, the constant body workout, and other things. Any other things? These straps right here. The awkwardness. Of, yeah. Now it makes my boobies look awkward, doesn't it? Don't. No, no, I'm gonna. Okay. <laughs> but there are so many things that have that these have made things easier for, and we wanted to share some of those. Here we go. One. One. Getting on and off transportation. Two. Going up and down stairs. It's really easy. Way easier with these. Mm -hmm. Three. Watching people with rolly suitcases on cobblestone is quite funny. Oh, do you remember when we did that? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. People watching. Number four, walking across grass, dirt, puddles, or anything not paved is way easier with these things. Five, you get stronger. It's more in the legs, in the back, because these don't carry anything. Except except when your kids make you carry <laughs> theirs. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Number six. Your luggage doesn't keep hitting your heels. Ouch. <laughs> Number seven. Tall people don't have to wreck their backs bending over for the wee little rolly suitcase handle. Number eight. You don't have to worry about always keeping a hand on your luggage to prevent theft or a suitcase from falling over and whacking people. I remember when we were on transportation, sitting, I would just keep my backpack on. To lean up against things? I did, yeah. It is pretty nice sometimes. Number nine. If your children bring little rolly suitcases, then if you have one of these, you have hands free to carry their rolly suitcase. Because if you've ever tried to carry three or four rolly suitcases, like all rolling <laughs> next to each other, it's impossible. Another benefit to hands free is safety of your children. Like if a kid starts to fall, you've got your hands so that you can grab them. Or if they run into the street, our kids never do that. Or try to fall down an escalator or yeah. anything like that. Yeah, it happens. Might or might not be real stories. Number 10. <laughs> Number 10. So layovers or hurrying between like a plane or a train or a subway and you've got your rolly pack and you're trying to run and like go upstairs and weave through people. It's way nicer we found to be wearing these. So as long as physically possible. So we tend to use backpacks when traveling and as we started procreating, <laughs> people... People were telling us we wouldn't be able to travel the same way. We sort of took it as a challenge and tried to figure out how to travel with kids. We recently took an international trip with our three kids. Yes, we were outnumbered. And they range in age from ages three to eight years old. So we had to decide how to pack our kids' stuff for the trip. We figured expecting our three-year-old to have a backpack that she needed to always wear wouldn't be the best. So we got two kid-sized day packs for our two older daughters and had them use two carry-on size rolling bags. <laughs> our oldest decided to use her rolling school backpack. She said it was easier, it rolled easier than the other, this other larger suitcase. She chose this one. And she was able to cram all of her stuff in. So I had a backpack and a day pack. It attaches to this, but I wear it on the front. Anyways, Jonathan did also. Our oldest had a rolling backpack and a day pack. Our middle daughter had a carry-on rolling suitcase and a day pack. And our youngest stuff was stored in the extra spaces in all of our bags. So she was a little bummed that she didn't have one, so they would trade off the backpacks. 
Which kind of works great mm -hmm. when the little one wants to carry something for the older one. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a win. But we don't have to depend on her yeah. carrying one. Packing for the girls was <laughs> interesting because we don't completely do it for them. We try to guide. No matter how I explained the weight of some of their choices, they were disregarding my advice. There's like, a metaphor in there somewhere. <laughs> an example was a small glass jar of hair bands. And I tried to tell my daughter that even though it didn't seem to weigh a lot, it would all combine to be heavier. And she was like, no, it's not that heavy. And I'm like, but it's, and I kept trying and it just wasn't getting through. So we loaded up and headed to the airport. The girls weren't even in the airport, and they were already complaining of the weight of their bags, you know, on the shuttle, <laughs> to the place, all that. To our dismay, our flight got canceled. But thankfully, it allowed our girls to physically understand what she had been explaining <laughs> about the weight of their choices. I love that, the weight of their choices. And they eliminated items from their bags. Luckily. Thankfully. The little glass jar, it was out. Gone. <laughs> zip locky. So the dress rehearsal was very helpful for us. We recommend going for a walk with everything on before heading to the airport so the kids experience what it will be like just to get through the weight of it. Another trick we've learned for packing is using zipping style gallon bags like Ziploc brand to pack your items in before putting them in your backpack. This helps suck out air and just Increase the space used in the bag. It also helps protect the items from water or, say, tomato juice that gets spilled by someone sitting in front of you on the airplane and they don't tell you. Mm -hmm. That has happened to me before. It was gross. But I just needed to clean my backpack. Everything inside was all safe because it was in Ziploc bags. And I guess if anyone has a more environmentally friendly, waterproof air suction idea, we'd love to hear it. Especially if it's affordable, you know, because this is traveling with kids. It gets expensive. So, for the Ziploc bag, we just want to show you how easy it is. I don't know if you've done this before. We take the shirt, right? Nice flannel because, you know, if it's cold. Nor stick it in there. Normally, if we were, like, packing, we'd cram more in there. I'd, I'd fit more in here, but then you don't want the thing to bust open, right? Yeah. So, then you take it and you zip it, like, three quarters of the way. And then maybe you even you squeeze out as much air as you can. And then you just stick it under your butt like that. <laughs> and you finish sealing it, and it gets all the air out. Right? There you go. So he had his little hand pinched there yep. and then went and down I on it. And like shot all the air out with my butt. <laughs> <laughs> and sealed it. And then there it is. And you just kind of fold that over and it feels like, like a dried meat package or something. Yummy. Yep. And so that's it. If you have other better ideas, we are totally open for them because this is great. But you, then you have to seal like, I mean, you seriously have 30 Ziploc bags in your backpack. But it's genius when it gets wet, and then none of it gets wet. Mm -hmm. So um, it also helps you separate separate out dirty clothes mm -hmm. from the clean clothes or wet clothes. You go swimming in a lake or a pool or where jacuzzi, whatever, and then you can keep it separate. That's really really helpful. So and it makes it so that everything's compact, and so you can fit more in your bag. Mm hmm. So there's your ideas. There's our ideas. They're just ideas though, and we welcome yours too because we are created for learning. Conversation for the day is what trick do you have for packing to save space and weight and all of the other ease of travel? I want to hear. Yeah, share them down below. Keep you in our community. We love you. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Share this with other people. And we always welcome your ideas. And keep being awesome.